Hi, this is Amber with Chief Health Salt Officer, and I'm going to show you today how to take a t-shirt and upcycle it into a dress. Super easy. Place the t-shirt on your kiddo, and then just mark a line right where, with disappearing ink, right at the spot where it goes across their belly button, which is the true waist, because that's where we're going to want to attach the bottom skirt. And then for the actual skirt pieces, just find some cotton fabric that you like. Um, Determine from that line how low you want your skirt to go. I'm doing this for a size 2T, so I picked 15 inches. And then um, this is actually just a full bolt piece from a yard, so um, I just cut it in half to get my two squares on that, which means my squares are about 20 inches, 22 inches. And then uh, put them right sides together and pin them together. We're just going to do a stitch on this outer part, doing a back stitch at the beginning and the end to hold the sides together. So on my machine I just have it set for a straight stitch and I'm doing this about a half an inch from the side but it, it really doesn't matter at this point as uh, long as your width is going to work out. In, in general you want this top piece to be at least one and a half times what their actual waist distance is so that your gathers make some nice little ruffles on the gather. So that's generally how I decide the waist and or I just take a yard of fabric that I have and that becomes my um, max point. So now we're just going to straight stitch this and then back stitch when we hit the end of it and we'll have our sides sewn together. Now you're just going to press open the the edges after you've sewn them. So I just put it on a little seam roll or you could just put it straight on your ironing table finger press it down a little bit and then press my iron down and set those into place. Okay so the next stage um, a lot of people would probably go ahead and do the gathers along the top and attach it to the shirt first um, and then hem the bottom at the end because then you know your exact length but I'm, I'm pretty okay with the length that I measured out and where I think it's gonna fall so I'm just gonna go ahead and press this about a half inch to an inch folding the right side of the fabric up and then um, I will put, fold it over, wet it down, press it again and get that to hold in place and then take it over to my sewing machine and stitch that lower hem into place. Okay and when it's been pressed it holds together so well on this lower hem that you don't even need to pin it before you go ahead and sew in your machine. So a few back stitches and then you're ready to sew. I'm doing this about a half of an inch. See. Okay, to do the gathering stitches, you're going to want tails on your string. So just pull pull that out. Make sure you have at least, you know, 6 inches or so. You'll also set your machine to a basting stitch, which for me is that one. And then um, you're going to do this at 3 8 which will be about right there for me. It lines up to the outer, this edge right here, and 5 8 which for me is there, and run a whole row of basting stitches. So you'll have those two rows of basting stitches. You'll be able to pull the tails, and then when you attach it to the top, you're going to sew it at half of an inch seam allowance, and that'll go right between the two basting layers. Okay, I'm about to finish up the second basting layer. You can see the ones over here and it's actually already starting to gather on its own. And then be sure you don't use your cutter because you need to leave the tails long on all sides. And then pull that out so that you have a little bit of a tail. You're going to use these tails to hold uh, the two bobbin threads down Hold those tight while you push the rest of the fabric and it'll make this gather even more. But before we do that, we have to make our markings. So in marking these, make sure you've done the front and um, on the back where that midpoint is. And then fold your skirt together and do the same thing. Mark both sides. And then we're going to pull the gathers by holding two of the outer strings push your fabric along and it'll help it all bunch up and then pin it so that your two edges align to the edges on the shirt and the marks align to the front and back 
mark that you've made on the shirt. A few other notes about attaching before you attach. You don't want all this excess t-shirt, so cut it cut it till you have about, you know, an inch or two on the shirt to where you actually want to attach it. And then um, over here on the skirt, just make sure that you're putting it right sides together. So what I usually do is stuff the t-shirt into the skirt and then pin it along that side. Okay, I start by pinning the two outer pieces and then I take where my disappearing ink is and pin those together. And then from there, just kind of adjust the gathers so that they're even and pretty similar throughout and then start pinning this together. In terms of where you're stitching, it's going to be between your two basting lines. You'll use a regular straight stitch, back stitching at the beginning and the end, and stay between those two parallel lines. It'll make it easier when you go to pull out those basting stitches. Plus, that's your actual half inch seam allowance. Next, you'll remove the basting stitches from here. This is why you want to make sure that your line always stays between your two basting so that it's nice and easy to make sure you're only ripping basting stitches. So I find I want to cut a few spots throughout on both sides. Okay, at this point you pretty much are done. You can, you can press it from the underside to make sure that you're setting the stitches and press it so the shirt's going down. Um, that's just disappearing, so that'll eventually fade away. I did make these sashes though, so what I've done is um, have have my little girls wear this and then place some marks where this needs to pin and then just did a couple hand stitches to hold these in place in a few spots on the front. <laughs>